Hey, what up ladies and gents, it's your favorite Asian robot, hopefully your favorite Dark Tide partner. And I'm here today to actually talk about one thing. Um, I was actually asked yesterday on stream about which stats are important for each staff. And you know what, I figured I'd just do a video on this because it's so much easier to answer that question. Uh, I'm going to go through each of the four staffs that the Psychers use and I'll tell you which stats are actually important for each staff. Alright, so first of all we'll start with the Surge staff, right? Um, when it comes to stats, the first and most important thing is critical bonus. Why? Because you will have a s critical chance of 20%, alright? When you have a 78% critical bonus. But if you lower this critical bonus, um, let's say to 42, you only have a 13% critical strike chance. This is very key for your damage. On the, opposite, on the flip side, damage is not actually as important as long as you have something above 70 because at 80%, which is max, you have 330 uh, secondary attack damage Okay, for your lightning and um, at 70%, I have 320. So anything above 70 would be good enough. So the most important for the surge staff is critical bonus. Next is damage. Third is charge rate. Okay, any any charge rate above 65% is what you want. Why? Because if your charge rate is too long or too low, you're not going to charge your secondary attack very fast. That said, between 65% to 80%, the difference is quite minimal. So, um, I think I have one with a very, very high charge rate. I can't remember if I do. Uh, let me just have a quick look. Alright, I'm doing this live as I go because I want... Okay, so this one has a 75% charge rate. This one is at 2.03 seconds, whereas the other one with that 68% charge rate was 2.09. So, uh, you're not even saving like a tenth of a second. You're saving way less than that. So, any charge rate above 65 is good, but you don't want anything below that. Alright, ideally you want to get as close to the 2 second charge time as possible, but your primary focus should be critical bonus as well as damage, all right? Warp resistance is generally the throwaway because uh, you can check this for yourself, but in fact, actually, let me show you. Okay, 60% warp resistance gives you 14.5% on uh, peril generation on your secondary attack, okay? Uh, and I think I have one that has m close to max warp resistance. It's 13.55. So you're not really saving much peril, uh, whether you have high warp resistance or not. So, Warp Resistance is the dump stat. It's like whatever you can get, you just throw it in there. But another one that is very important, Quell Speed, as high as possible, okay? For the Surge Staff, I'm just gonna summarize it in one quick shot. Critical Bonus is most important, Charge Rate, Damage, anything above 70, and then Quell Speed, alright? Warp Resistance is your dump stat, okay? So that's it for the Surge Staff. Now we're gonna move on to the Purgatus Staff, okay? With the Brigade Staff, alright, um, you guys already understand Warp Resistance and Quell Speed, alright? But amongst these three stats, what is the most important? Okay, Cloud Radius is very important for the Brigade Staff. Why? Because if your Cloud Radius is too small, you're not going to be able to burn hordes effectively. You need a Cloud Radius above 70% to be effective. For burn, you will want as high as possible. Damage is slightly less important, but you want damage above 70, all right? Burn is the most important. So in order of priority for the Purgatus staff, all right? This is because the higher burn stats, right? Not only allow you for more to have more uh, stacks of max damage, but they also apply the damage faster, okay? Let me see if I can find one with a low burn stat to show you a, a comparison. Um, I don't know if I have one with a low burn stat. I'll try and find one if I have one. Okay, this one's got a fairly low burn stat. You see, the previous one could apply up to 14 stacks of damage over time, and it would apply them at a rate of 0.35. This one with only 58% burn applies them at every 0.37 seconds, which means that you have to burn for longer to apply the stacks, and it only applies a maximum of 13 stacks. So having a high burn stat is very important. I would say any burn stat above 70 is ideal, but of course 80 would be the, the best so that you can apply it just slightly faster if you can. Because although the damage over time application rate doesn't change much between the staffs uh, as you increase your burn stat, 
the max stacks are very important and also that even that small uh change in time in application time stacks up all right um but you also cannot forget cloud radius and base damage because the base damage improves the burning intensity all right which means that it burns harder faster better stronger okay so when you have something with a low burn stat versus something with a high burn stat all right, you're not going to have a very pleasant time. But when you've got something with a high burn stat, well, what happens is that you... Well, let me show you. You apply the stacks fast. Now, this is a damnation level uh, meat grinder. You apply the stacks fast and they stack up and deal plenty of damage. Now, if you also have warp peril to increase the overall crit rates, all right, every time you crit, you apply two stacks instead. All right, which is very important. So once you crit, you'll just see you'll just see like the stacks get applied very intensely. And of course, the same goes for your LMB as well. So you can use this to very quickly stack up burns, even if you're not long burning. So for those of you that know the Pregatus style, using your left mouse button is very important because without that, you cannot stun hordes effectively. All right, so you want to you want to balance between stunning and long burn. Okay. That's, that covers it for uh, Purgatus. Like I said, once again, quick summary. Warp resistance is your dump stat. Nobody cares about that. Quell speed is important, but not the not the biggest priority. Burn, cloud radius, damage. These three are your big priorities. Quell speed is whatever you get, but the higher the better. And warp resistance, nobody cares about. Okay, um, moving on. Now we're going to cover the Void Strike staff. Okay, for the Void Strike staff, uh, things are a slightly bit different. Um... Uh, once again, Warp Resistance, as I explained with the Surge Staff, is your dump stat. Nobody cares about it. Quell Speed is very, very important, okay? But, but, the most important stat for your Void Strike is Charge Rate. Why? The Void Strike has one of the fastest Charge Rates, although I still think it should be buffed with more Charge Rate, but the Void Strike has one of the fastest Charge Rates um, in the game for Staffs. And the faster Charge Rate you have, the better. Let me see if I've got a Void Strike staff with a low charge rate, just so I can show you the difference. Uh, of course, damage is very important as well. Um, uh, blast radius is not as important. Okay, wait. This one has a lower charge rate. Okay, this is 1.71 seconds, all right? Whereas one with a higher charge rate, relatively speaking, would be 1.67. It may not seem like much of a difference in terms of charge rate, but considering the nature of the Void Strike staff where you're aiming for headshots, all right, what you want to do is you want to be able to charge your Void Strike staff at the fastest rate possible so that as you're blasting your enemies, right, you're always at least hitting them with headshots that are at least half charge. Okay, this is your ideal because that way you can really take out your enemies. And of course, if you're using the animation cancel, you also want a fast charge rate because it can give you the option to hit them slightly harder something like that all right so you can do something like that with it but again it's up to you how you want to utilize this um at the end of the day it's your choice all right okay let me explode nicely now while i'm busy exploding um let me get back to the void strike explanation damage is the next most important thing why because damage directly impacts how much your shots are gonna do this is very, very important for the Void Strike staff. So charge rate, damage are the keys. Blast radius is not as important. Why? Because the focus of the Void Strike staff is not the blast radius to knock down targets and stuff like that. That's not important. The Void Strike staff is mostly used to headshot targets and dish out the maximum possible damage, which is why blast radius is not as important as charge rate and damage. Okay, charge rate and damage are your two big keys. Warp resistance, not as important. Quell speed, as high as possible. Blast radius, anything above 65 or 60% 60 would be good enough for you. Okay? So that is for the Void Strike staff. Um, I hope that explains the stats well enough. And last but not least is the Trauma staff. Okay, when it comes to the Trauma staff, right, um, the biggest keys to the Trauma staff is charge rate, okay, and damage. These two are important. Quell speed is also very important. Warp resistance, once again, is your dump stat. Not, not very important. Blast radius, okay. Blast radius, first of all, I'm going to show you what a blast radius of 61% looks like. Okay, we're going to equip this right now. Okay. 
We're gonna use the crusher as an example. A blast radius, you can see it's like halfway between the crusher and the bulwark. This is a blast radius of 61%, okay? I do happen to have a trauma staff with a much higher blast radius. So we're gonna showcase that to you. Um, sorry, I don't have many trauma staffs, so I have to find one. I think it's around here. Did I scroll past it? Sorry if I did. Um, I sincerely apologize about this. It's like I said, I don't have any trauma stats. Ah, this one is 74. Okay, so the difference between 61 and 74, as you can see, is still not very much. This is a 74% blast radius. So, any blast radius above 60 is good enough. For your trauma 4 staff, like I said, the most important stat. Anything above 60 is good enough. The most important is your damage and charge rate. All right, pulse speed is next. Warp resistance is technically your dump stat. So even with just a 60% blast rate, I've still got more than enough room to blast around. Like, anything above 60 is good enough for blast radius. All right, it's very much more important that you have damage and charge rate for your trauma staff. Um, but blast radius, of course, if you can get it slightly larger, is is slightly better. It just makes aiming a little bit easier. You might not feel the difference, but um, you might you, well, you might feel a slight difference, all right, between sixty percent and seventy percent. But in general, anything above sixty percent is good enough. Uh, I just happen to have this one that's on the border. <laughs> it's at just barely sixty percent. But yeah, damage is the most important thing, and charge rate because you want to be able to charge it fast. Okay, that's going to be key because n you won't always be able to fully charge your, your Trauma Force Staff. You want to be able to, in, in normal combat, you'll be doing something like this. You want to be able to fast blast whatever's in front of you. Something like that. Alright, and assuming you've got your Force Staffs... Um, sorry, assuming you've got your Warp Stacks. Let me just show you. Because I want to show you the effect of Inner Tranquility with the Trauma Staff to uh, give you guys a better perspective on this. Okay. Now, in combat, assuming you've got your full Warp Stacks, this is what combat will look like for you. As you can see, even the Warp Stacks aren't making that much of a difference, but it's the Warp Resistance that allows you to blast more that you really want to enjoy. So, of course, with higher blast radius, aiming is easier, but again, it's not as important as people would have you believe. So, realistically speaking, damage and charge rate is all you really want. Okay, so that ends my explanation for all the stats for the different staffs. I hope it was informative. Um, thank you very much for watching this. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Get this video to 100 likes if you enjoy my content. It would really help me out. And, of course, if you want to support my content further, you can donate. You can send super chats uh, on stream. You can send super thanks. You can join as a channel member. All of this will help me make more content, but it's up to you if you want to do that. I'm going to give thanks right now to all the channel members who make this possible. So thank you very much to the following individuals. All right. It's going to take me just one second to pull up the list. Oh my God. I hate sometimes when this list goes wild. Okay, starting right at the top, we've got Death Dawning 982 at Plus Ultra, Jerry Fast, Rogue Assassin, Old Mr. Cream Buff, and Zack and G as prestige members. Thank you guys so much. In terms of our honored robots, we've got Jammer Boy, The Mighty Xeno, Underpaid Enlisted Soldier, Triple D 326, Darverse, Cordova 2182, Maze, Che D12, I'm Peep, Sayed Asad Bukhari, Pringle Bread, Tuan Nguyen, Miss Eve, Valorous, Coda CMF, Kami SMH, Conrad C, Nate the Great, Curtis Sussler, Corey Ryu, Benjamin Savage, Lady Neo, and Greasy Burger. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope this was informative for you. Get you later.